so we should be live now. Alright, so on this one, I was thinking to focus heavily, heavily, heavily on bounty rewards now that I've kind of kitted out my Viper with a, a spec I'm happy with. Um, I feel like it took a little while to get where um, kind of content with like the damage output I'm putting. Um, the speed's always been fine with the Viper, like the Viper's a fast ship. Uh, but I feel like on the DPS aspect, like my beam lasers weren't doing so great. So I went with pulse and burst and I've been very happy with the results so far. Okay, uh, target type pirate. Sure. Mm, no, not worth it. You can get a single um, kill in a nav beacon or a resource zone and make that. Um, yeah, nothing really interesting there. Let's do... I think it's because we're inside that we're not going to see it. Ship released. Engines Landing engaged. gear. Landing gear retracted. So yeah, like the voiceover I have from voice attack with the friendly little reminder not to screw it up. Um, it's actually straight up that. Um, there's been a couple times to where I forget that I have... Scan detected. Boost. Boost confirmed. Uh, that I had full four pips into my uh, engine power. And flying a Viper, you can get some pretty crazy results. Frame shift. Frame shift drive charging. And. So imagine taking off, Four, doing vertical three, thrusts, and end up two, slamming into the one, side of the engage. space station walls. It's as unpleasant as it sounds. So let's see what we got. Resource zone. Yeah, let's do that. Close enough. Closer than not. Some people complain about not being able to have finer control over the speed. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, I think you get too many people just flooring it and getting up to like a couple hundred light seconds a second. Um, yeah, it's a little bit overkill. And you'll just shoot right past it. Then again, I've seen people pull off some crazy maneuvers, so I suppose having the ability to just hyper accelerate to like a thousand times the speed of light, which I think is like the max velocity outside of um, just using your jump drive. I can see people doing some cool stuff with that, but that then limits the interdiction gameplay, because when you interdict somebody, you pretty much have to be right on top of them. And so if someone could just bust out a thousand times the speed of light, it wouldn't be doing a whole lot. Okay, let's drop out. Yeah, 
so resource extraction points make me nervous for two reasons. One, um, if you get too close to a physical object with any sort of gravity field, like the giant planet, um, you will end up being yanked out of your super cruise and your ship will be damaged, which is bad news all around. Frame shift. Ludicrous speed. Engage. Okay, so that was a little too quick on the draw. So we'll try that one more time. Frame shift. Ludicrous Frame speed. shift drive Engage. charging. Yeah, I'm probably gonna overshoot it or Four, get end up damaged three, by just two, running into one, a cloud of asteroids. Unfortunately. Oh, crap. Frame shift. Ludicrous speed. Engage. If you look at the bottom, I just extended my sensors to max range. Destroyed. That was 
a weak bounty. Oh, another laser light show going on over here. Who's shooting at who? Ah, yes, Eagles. I love the Eagles. Well, I love the Eagles as well. Great band. But, Max. Max speed. No! Dang it. Mid. Mid Target remote. destroyed. shooting at him. He hasn't done anything. I'm guessing it's a faction thing. Poor guy. What ifs? I ain't gonna cause you any troubles. Max. Max speed. Engine power. Usually there's tastier kills in this. Like him. Target shields offline. Stop. Destroyed. Right there. Target shields offline. Mid. Maneuver mode. Target shields online.
rocket destroyed. Really, dude? See, I like how when you target off into nothingness, you end up with a... central target, like your... nav beacon, or max. Max. Max speed. Engine power. that were just kind of like constant fire and I feel like they were doing a lot less damage but draining a lot more energy. So yeah, with the Viper, boosting away and then coming back around and doing strafing runs, extremely viable. Actually, probably the ideal method of fighting with the ship. Because get into a turn race with some of the lighter ships Scan detected. can be downright infuriating. Target destroyed. Cobra MK3. How are you, friend? 
you wanted. Yep, and you're dead. Oops. And targeting the power plant. <laughs> really, dude? Really? Target shields offline. Reverse. Reversing. Mid. Shields offline. There's Scan a lot of bounties in this uh, in this resource zone. Like, I'm surprised. Target shields online. Nice. I got the last shot on that one. Shields offline. Target destroyed. Interesting. Target shields offline.
frame shift. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay, that was a little bit scary. Let's find us a system station that isn't that wanted. Najima. Okay, so we'll dock at Najima so that we don't get blown out of the water. And then we'll pay off our fine there. So, this is actually a really good kind of unintentional lesson. So, if you can find yourself in a system that has both multiple factions um, that are not affiliated with the major ones, so like Empire Federation, Alliance, and Independent, um, if you end up ticking off one of them, you can always dock at the others so that you can avoid having to worry about um, the station blowing you out of the waters just from trying to land. So I'm going to knock at the, or dock at the Najima gateway, pay off this fine, and then I'll probably hop on, well let's see how much do we have. Okay. 67k in Empire Bounties. So yeah, we'll probably head back to a resource zone and collect some more bounties. Ultimately, I'm going to be far away from it, but I want to save up for a python. Now, what will ultimately probably happen is I'll have to save up for a trade ship, do the trade ship, and then go to one of the websites that covers all the trades um, and figure out some optimal trade routes. Um, right now, the M game um, galaxy app that covers all like the trade information is kind of borked so you can't really rely upon that systems can be pretty massive in this game. It's actually really kind of cool. It's one of the things I like about it. Did I totally just overshoot it while I was... Yeah, I did. Wait, what? I killed COD. I guess that's an old message. Frame shift. Ludicrous speed. Engage. Docking request granted. Okay, so... If I remember right, 
engine power. Max. Max speed. The entrance should be kind of tipped me off on looking at the how it rotates counterclockwise to figure out where the entrance is. Mid. Maneuver mode. Landing gear. Don't screw this up. Scan detected. Landing gear deployed. Stop. Full stop. Okay. This... This is why... This is why I have it tell me not... Don't just... Don't screw this up when uh, I deploy landing gear. This, this is a pretty good example Docking of success. what not to do. Engines disengaged. Clearly that's what I was doing. Yeah, don't do that at home, folks. Mostly just do missions for the faction rep. Like I want to get in good with the Empire so that when I do have money, um, I can invest in one of their nicer ships. Like I just love the design of their ships. Um, like the Imperial Clipper looks sexy. range. Okay, I got the maxed out. Ship chair, okay. Okay, higher mass, lower, okay, so that's the problem with that one. Higher mass, higher power draw.
I can't do it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I can. I guess it doesn't automatically. Yeah, because I was worried about that drawing me over power, but I guess... distributes priority for stuff like that. Never going Ship to released. Engines engaged. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yield Landing gear retracted. Up. Engine power. Speed. I think it's on the other side of the body. Yeah, if you ever get too close to a planet, 
One, if you get too, too close, it'll rip you right out of Super Cruise and it'll damage your ship. But the other thing is that if you start getting too close, it'll slow you down. So you angle away a little bit so that you can go around it on the curve. Otherwise, the slowdown will delay your progress to your final destination. Gunpower. Scan detected. Mid. Maneuver mode. Under attack. Target shields offline. Target nice. destroyed. not always 100%, like sometimes you'll have a wanted thrown in into a group, but just as far as what I've Scan detected. All clean. Bunch of very well behaved pilots in the system. Except for you. You're being a naughty naughty boy. Mode. 
see, I don't know how much titanium is worth. I don't even know if that'd be worth well, I can't pick it up because I just did away with my cargo. Opening the pod bay door. Cargo escape deployed. Cargo. Opening the pod bay door. Cargo scoop retracted. I forgot that I set that to a trigger word. Whoops. Engine power. Speed. Max. Max speed. Boost. Boost confirmed. So far away from everybody else. Why are you being so antisocial? Do you have to hide? Boost. Boost confirmed. Come on, friend. Be social. Boost. Boost confirmed. Security just chilling out in the far reaches of the resource belts. Don't mind him. Boost. Boost confirmed. Boost. Boost confirmed. Target shields offline. Gunpower. Mid. Target shields online. Boost. Boost confirmed. Target shields offline. Yes. Scan detected. Under attack. Reverse. Online. Reversing. Mid. Target shields offline. Reverse. Reversing. starts doing that. Engine power. Max. Max speed. Boost. Boost confirmed. 
See, that's one thing I still don't understand is what triggers the anger in the internal security when you haven't done anything wrong. Boost. Boost confirmed. Frame shift. Moving Frame receiving. shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay, let's get ourselves docked. Go nice straight up Imperial Station. Because once we get docked here, we can turn the Imperial bounties in, make a little credit off of that. Hundred and three K earned. Thirty three in Fed and twenty three in Alliance. And then plus the mission reward. Like I don't know if I have to go back to the same system where I picked up the mission. I don't think so. Um Hey Trend ninety three. How are you, sir? Um I basically just finished off on a uh, pirate mission uh, and tallied up uh nice little bounty with the Empire of 103,000. Just about to dock and turn it in. Let's see... Yeah, if you have any questions, Trent, or any comments, just let me know. I'm always up for feedback. I just threw on a uh, surface scanner onto my ship. So if you want to see a little bit of exploration, let me know and I can start popping that out. But right now I'm mostly focusing on combat. Uh, I got my Viper kitted out for Pew Pew Laser Cats and been basically wrecking in Empire Space. Nice. Yeah, like... I created a trading video specifically for people that are like, oh my god, I don't want to go through the tutorial crap. Um, well, here's... That's actually a lot of things you can do. That's the nice thing about this game, is a lot of this game is skill-based. Um, like, ultimately, you want to fight. Okay, um, so... Unless you started out with like an eagle from like the mercenary edition or something, um, you're probably going to start the game in the Sidewinder. What I did to get me going was, and I'll show you when I dock, uh, was I did a couple of easy trade runs to get me enough money to buy me an eagle. Um, the eagle is a extremely maneuverable, very fast fighter. Um, and most of the combat in this game is just either strafing your opponent to where you outspeed them and then you do a long turn, flip back around, make another strafing run and just unload everything you got into them. Or staying on their tail and outmaneuvering them constantly. Um, the eagle is the master at outmaneuvering other ships. Um, and it's relatively affordable. So you could do a couple of uh, trading runs, afford enough to buy more cargo space to do higher payout trading runs, and then buy an Eagle, get it kit out with some lasers, and then just do bounties at nav beacons and unidentified uh, signals. And I'll show you an example of a little bit of everything. Granted. Also, if you have a headset, there's a program that I'm using called Voice Attack. Um, it's actually pretty amazing. Um, anytime you hear me talk to it, um, and it responds with a function in the game, that's me using Voice Attack. Landing gear. Don't screw this up. 
Landing gear deployed. Docking bay 21. There's 21. Pilot are respectfully reminded to refrain from entering the Oh yeah, voice attack's amazing. <laughs> How do you like Star Citizen? Like, I have a couple of um, streams recorded from just basically giving a tutorial of the different hangars, and I did one of the Vandal Swarm. But <laughs> so about the entrance to those stations, um, one of my viewers um, commented that if you look at it as far as spinning counterclockwise you aim for that side. Um, it just kind of stuck with me ever since he mentioned that and it just kind of flows. Nice, 103,000 credits right there. Okay, so let's see here, bulletin board. Um, okay, so I have to actually go back to that stupid station. Okay, so let me show you something. So this one that I have, have highlighted right here um, has the cargo icon with one arrow going out. Uh, probably Tren. Um, I can be here in 30. Um, yeah, no worries. Um, but this is going to be the mission types that you're going to want to run for a little while. Um, these are what's going to get you your money in your Sidewinder and then you're going to want to upgrade your cargo so that you can take larger payout versions of this. Um, this ultimately will lead to your Eagle. Um, when I click on this, it basically gives you what you'll be hauling, so Lepidilite, um, the reward, the quantity. So. The quantity is going to be the amount of cargo space needed. So when you start out in your Sidewinder, I believe you have like, I think it's something like four or eight cargo spaces open. Um, what you're going to want to do is do the smaller ones that have a smaller payout for like, you know, 2K and 4K. And then once you have the money to do that, you want to go into the outfitting. and you only have a few internal bays on the Sidewinder, so they don't give you a whole lot of flexibility. Uh, that really kind of comes in the later ships. And it's going to look a little different for you because I'm flying a Viper, but I'll still be able to kind of show you the gist of it. Alright, so you go to internals, and the internal compartments is where you have flexibility. And you'll notice that you have a kind of size right here, one, two, three. Um, those are just going to allow you to fit items of that size in it. Higher is better. Um, I'll show you right here. So when you go into this screen, you'll see cargo pack. So cargo pack, class one, capacity of two. What you want to look for is the highest class that you have and then basically just load your sidewinders compartments up with those cargo pods and I even stripped away the shields on my sidewinder and once you have a cargo pod here, cargo pod here, cargo pod here, cargo pod here and you've basically maxed out the cargo it can haul then I just ended up doing the higher amounts of these because like I think you can get up to like 12, 16 or so on a sidewinder and usually those pay anywhere from like four to ten K and then you just do that until you're ready to fly your Eagle um, and then the Eagle is actually this ship right here so you don't want to do it right when you get at 44,800 um, I recommend that you wait until you get up to like 80 90 even 100 K so that you can kit it out with good equipment so yeah um, I will be back on in 30 minutes. I was actually just about to take a quick break. So um, if you want to hang out in the lobby, that's cool. Um, if you follow, it's greatly appreciated. Um, I just started streaming, so every follow, um, really appreciated. It helps for the morale. Um, 
also like any positive feedback or any critiques you have just let me know um, but yeah I'm gonna take a brief break get me some coffee and I'll see you when you get back thanks Trent <laughs>